and close your eyes. Connect with the breath coming in and flowing out. Invite that peace, calming, cooling sensation in your eyes. <clears throat> Thinking of a beautiful flower unfolding, just relax your facial muscles. Relax your neck. Relax your throat. and shoulders. Relaxing your spine, soften the belly, get grounded. Bring your full attention to the breath that's rising and falling. Full attention on this breath. Breath is coming in, breath is going out. Pause your breath for a moment, wherever it is. Listen to that heartbeat. If you can't hear it, imagine it. Pulsating through your whole being. Release the breath before you begin to stress. Pause it again. and release it before your body begins to stress. Pause the breath again and bring your mind to the center of the forehead. Utmost attention on the stillness of the mind in the center of the forehead. Your eyes are slightly pulled up and pinned to the center of the forehead. Have this image of a triangle between the center of the forehead and the two eye sockets. Mind is resting on the top of the triangle. Eyes are still, 
mind is still. Release the breath. Pause it again. Let your mind rest in the center of the forehead. and slowly release it. Thank you. The heart is the space of Ma. Ma is the name of unconditional love. Available to us all. This love flows towards us not only from an individual, Ma is not an just an individual. There is a Ma, earthly Ma, who has given birth to us, but that Ma is in so many ways. holding us, providing everything we need to us. The breath is also called Pranamai Bhagavati, the Divine Mother in the form of prana, life force. She's entering with each breath, bringing us back to life in the form of water quenching our thirst, in the form of warmth from the sun, in the form of space itself that enables us to exist. So this is why we go to our heart first. In the language of the ashram, we say, bow to the mother, the divine mother. That's just a language. The real feeling behind that is acknowledge the love available to you in one form or another. Just acknowledging that I am the recipient of that love that's nurturing, giving, holding, 